Summer's Secret Massage Seduction, Shocking Twists Unveiled In a jaw-dropping turn of events on The Young and the Restless, Summer's rendezvous with Chance takes an unexpected turn. But amidst the passion, dark clouds gather as Claire's happiness hangs in the balance. Meanwhile, Ashley's mental turmoil reaches a breaking point, setting the stage for a dramatic showdown. And as Nikki defies Victor's wishes, Sharon's quest for love takes a surprising turn. Brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions and unexpected twists in Genoa City. Stay tuned for the explosive drama unfolding on YNR. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. After watching these videos, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Audra notices Ashley changing, Jordan prepares a party trap. Chance Chancellor will visit Summer Newman at Society on Monday, April 8, according to the Young and the Restless Spoilers recap. He will provide updates on Heather Stevens and Daniel Romilotti Jr.'s firings. Summer is going to take Chance to a GCAC suite where she will give him a massage after leaving Daniel a worried voicemail. Before the conversation turns to Summer and Kyle Abbott's nanny hunt in the aftermath, Chance will start making love. Summer will probably continue to be cautious around Claire Grace and doubt that it's safe for her to be with Harrison Abbott, but she might also take into account the chance that Claire Grace is simply being petty. Ultimately, Summer will be relieved to have Chance divert her attention with cocktails since she truly doesn't want to be thinking about Claire at this moment. Claire will appear thrilled to be moving into the tack house, but she will also realize that Victoria Newman is a little strange. At some point, Victoria will own that she is grieving for her house and all the memories that burned down. Claire has decided which room Victoria will choose to read her books, and she will console Victoria accordingly. Claire will receive an embrace from Victoria, who says the tack house is beginning to seem more like home. As they settle in, Claire will truly be living the dream since she will be ecstatic to receive her own key. Nikki Newman will conceal her alcohol bottle before Victor Newman enters in the interim. Nikki becomes anxious for a brief while as Victor maintains that he is aware of the vodka. However, because Larry the security guard informed him of the news, Victor will only be referring to the vodka that the guy at society sent her. Nikki will let Victor know that she is unable to go on their scheduled trip. Allowing Jordan to prevail would also allow Jordan to potentially target Claire. Rather, Nikki will want to celebrate their first wedding anniversary with a party so extravagant that Jordan won't be able to resist attending. That won't sit well with Victor, but Nikki will counter that their security will outnumber Jordan's. Nikki predicts that before they even realize Jordan has penetrated the celebration, she will have been captured. Victor will give in to Nikki's insistence that catching Jordan is the ideal way to celebrate and decide to make some calls ahead of time. Nikki will put her vodka bottle aside and slip a few more drinks in when she hears Victoria and Claire arrive. Claire and Victoria will learn about Nikki's choice to forego the vacation and the anniversary party trap once they appear on Monday's episode of YNR. Victoria will want to take Claire to the jazz lounge so she may check it out since it will be held there. Victor will encourage them to bring Cole Howard along, and Nikki will consent to go as well. Ash, the younger incarnation of Ashley Abbott, will go to the bar and get a ginger ale at the athletic club. Ash will decide to order a martini even though she won't be able to finish it. Audra Charles will accept Tucker McCall's invitation to shower with him, but she will eventually head downstairs after appearing thoughtful about the engagement ring on the nightstand. Audra will then get the opportunity to run into Ash, who will tell her that she must speak with Tucker immediately since it is crucial. Ash will bring up the fact that she genuinely wants to harm Tucker in order to keep Ashley safe and will want to warn him. Audra will think that Ashley might actually be insane and won't understand why Ash is calling someone else Ashley. Eventually, Ms. Abbott would retake the lead with her trademark sass and say she was only having a few martinis on an empty stomach. 
Ms. Abbott would say that Audra is exaggerating things and that they should keep this between them after acting that way. Next, Tucker will appear and begin to ask inquiries, hence, Ms. Abbott will advise Audra to acquire a sense of humor before to departing. After alerting Tucker to Ashley's self-deprecating remarks and her attempt to warn him, Audra will bring up Ashley's recent allegation that she was merely playing tricks on her. Though Audra won't think he thinks it any more than she does, Tucker will imply that perhaps Ashley was. Ms. Abbott will switch out the light and enter Ashley's thoughts after making her way upstairs to a suite. To symbolize Ashley's mental state, there will be a white room with three beds. Ms. Abbott will yell for Ash to wake up because she needs to set the young brat straight. Stay tuned for our predictions on all the chaos as Ashley's mental state is expected to worsen, according to spoilers for The Young and the Restless. The next update for today. Will Kyle shatter Claire's heart, ill-fated romance leads to mental difficulties? Spoilers for The Young and the Restless hint at Claire Grace's difficult journey ahead, even if she's been doing well since receiving therapy in Memorial's psych unit. Even though Claire has put a lot of effort into overcoming Jordan's brainwashing, things still feel a little too perfect. After so little time in treatment, it's difficult to accept that Claire is permanently cured. Claire is currently surrounded by a lot of love and support and is at last living the Newman dream. Given that Claire has a loving father and mother and has entered the Newman life she has always desired, it stands to reason that she would be thriving. Although Claire's parents, Victoria Newman and Cole Howard, have done everything in their power to ensure that she feels safe as their cherished daughter, Claire is gradually growing more independent and possibly heading into drama. Claire is a grown adult, even if Victoria would love to cocoon her and shield her from anything that could exacerbate her mental health issues. It follows that Claire won't be content to just sit and have her mother spoil her. It's clear that Claire and Kyle Abbott are getting ready for a romantic relationship, but given Claire's mental health and potential for problems, it might not be the best choice. Despite their divorce, history shows that Kyle and Summer Newman can't stay away forever. Claire may only serve as a stand-in until a Skyle reunion occurs because Summer and Kyle have a tendency for working things out again. Will Kyle break Claire's heart by getting her to fall in love with him before Summer and she get back together? Does that sound like the kind of thing that would bring Claire's evil side riding back? Fans of YNR were made aware of Claire's potential when her mental state wasn't optimal due to her past. The mayhem that unfolded at the lake house will live on in the minds of viewers forever, especially in light of the possibility of a relapse and additional risk. Stay tuned for updates on any bad news that may be coming, as spoilers for The Young and The Restless suggest that Claire and Kyle's romance may be doomed. The next update for today. Ashley is ambushed, Lily harshly rejects Nikki, and Nikki goes rogue. Spoilers for Tuesday, April 9, episode of The Young and The Restless indicate that Nikki Newman will defy Victor Newman's wishes. Since Victor has assured Nikki time and time again that she is not a burden, he wants her to confide in him when she is having difficulties. Fans of YNR should anticipate a broken promise in the show on Tuesday. It is likely that Nikki will turn bad by slipping additional alcohol into her drink and hiding it from Victor. Behind Victor's back, Nikki might even take action over Jordan's impending party trap. In certain situations, Nikki may dangle the bait a little too recklessly. In any event, Nikki will take a step that Victor will not approve of, which could cause friction or even danger. Daniel Romilotti Jr. will encourage Lily Winters to reapply to Omega Sphere in the interim, but she is unwilling to reverse her decision to fire Heather Stevens. Lily will once more reject Daniel sternly when he at least hopes he might win control of Princess Louisa. Lily will be seen pushing Daniel to deal with the fallout from his treachery while gloating about her ownership of the game. Jack Abbott and Diane Jenkins Abbott will hear Tracy Abbott's unsettling worries regarding Ashley Abbott at the Abbott Mansion. Ashley will soon return home and discover an Abbott ambush. 
A number of family members will put on an intervention in an effort to address Ashley's evident mental health issues. Sadly, Ashley won't be in charge as she responds to all of the inquiries that are directed at her. When the Abbots try to help, Ms. Abbott will be the one to show her fury and turn unpleasant. Don't miss any of the action since our forecasts indicate that a Ms. Abbott will act rather erratically once she finds herself in a tight spot. According to spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Ashley's dissociative identity disorder will likely lead to more mayhem. Stay tuned for updates on the shocking revelations that are still to come. The next update for today. Is Sharon's new man ready for a new beginning love story on YNR? Spoilers for The Young and the Restless reveal since she no longer has a romantic partner, Sharon Newman has all but vanished from the picture. Soon after, Sharon chose to end her relationship with Chance Chancellor and disappeared from the map. Of course, Sharon is in charge of Cassidy First Technologies, but she does so primarily behind closed doors. Fans of YNR used to be able to catch Sharon at Crimson Lights, but she has mostly disappeared from there as well. Sharon has been a mainstay on this show for years, so it's strange that she's treated like some random stranger in the community. Sharon is a well-liked character portrayed by a gifted actress, she shouldn't have to take a back seat. Sharon doesn't need a man to be happy, but having one would certainly increase her chances of landing a significant amount of television time. Maybe matching Sharon up is the secret to seeing her more frequently because romantic storylines are what drive a lot of the drama in soap operas. Although YNR has been hinting at a potential reunion between Sharon and Nick Newman, there's no assurance that the plan will work out. Even in the unlikely event that Nick and Sharon reconcile, it might not happen very soon. Perhaps it's time to reconsider pairing Sharon with newcomers from Genoa City, as she has done so in the past. Should a fresh man be cast in the show and paired with Sharon? Sharon in a fresh romance would be lovely, especially if there's no Summer Newman lurking in the background. Since it was always clear that Chance and Summer would end up together, most viewers were not interested in Sharon and Chance dating. With Chance cut loose, Sharon now has an open door to meet and fall in love with a new guy. We'll keep you informed about any casting announcements that may be in the works since anything that could put Sharon Case at the center of a new plot would be beneficial. According to spoilers for The Young and The Restless, Sharon should eventually receive some quality stuff. Stay tuned for further predictions about her destiny. Thanks for watching this videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.